Greetings, I'm Dr. Bobby Price, your plant-based pharmacist and nutritionist, also author of Education Over Medication. And today, we're gonna to be talking about low testosterone and estrogen dominance in males. Uh, for the ladies out there, if your brother, lover, or father has all of a sudden become a couch potato, uh, doesn't get his honeydew list done, can't get it up or keep it up, this will be a great video for him also to come check out. Now, I was working with a patient and they have inspired me to do a video about this. And so typically when we're talking about male health, specifically related to hormones, we're always talking specifically and only about testosterone. However, let me first debunk a myth. Both male and females have both estrogen and testosterone in their bodies. Facts. Okay. Estrogen is just as important in males as it is in females. Of course, the concentrations are different. In males, estrogen is important for bone health. It's also important for metabolism, and it's also important for brain function. So it does have a place. Now, the typical estrogen levels in a male is between 14 and 55, and the typical testosterone level is going to be between 300 and 1,000. So you can see the disparity in there. And so when I'm working with clients, typically what I'm telling them to do is we don't want to be normal, just at 300, we want to be optimized. So our goal is to get between 800, 900, or even 1,000. And so um, what brings males typically into either a person like myself or to go in and see their physicians? So typically it's some of the signs and symptoms that come with low testosterone. And those include things like uh, low libido, uh, erectile dysfunction. And there is a difference between those two because low libido is actually a lack of a desire to actually have sex. Whereas erectile dysfunction is inability to use the equipment. Okay. But it also can lead to fatigue. Um, it can also lead to things like depression, increases in body fat low semen count, and also an inability to actually build muscle, despite the fact that you're working out, okay? And so this typically will, for the first part, have a male go into some place like a convenience store or a gas station and purchase one of those products out at the checkout line. So they're buying like gas station pills to compensate from their testosterone and they never work. And I'll be the first to tell you that not only do they not work, but they're probably pretty toxic. Uh, but let's say you go ahead and you try it and you find out for yourself it doesn't work. You end up in your physician's office. The typical thing or protocol that they do is they do a testosterone test, you know, based on the symptoms that I just mentioned before. And then from there, they notice that your testosterone levels are low. And from there, they will probably put you on hormone replacement therapy. And this usually includes uh, testosterone injections. Now, typically, they'll get between 100 and 200 milligram injection, maybe every two weeks. Uh, initially, this will, for a lot of males, cause them to lose a lot of the symptoms and signs that they've experienced with low testosterone. So all of a sudden, they're building up muscle. They feel um, a lot more energy. Uh, maybe even some of the hair loss stops. Uh, and so initially they're, they're thinking it's working. Uh, but eventually what will happen is the body will feel the shock of that amount of testosterone in the body because the body only makes between 8 and 10 milligrams of testosterone in the first place. And so having the 100 milligrams or even 200 milligrams injected is a shock to the body. So the body will start to correct that. And how does it do that? With estrogen. And so all of a sudden the estrogen levels start to go up and the testosterone levels start to bottom out again. And so as you will see, you will see those symptoms come back, the increases in body fat. And so um, the increase in body fat is actually a very interesting um, symptom or side effect because as you increase in body fat in the body, the body fat, especially in this abdominal area, will create an enzyme called aromatase. And aromatase will take the little bit of testosterone that you have left over and convert it into estrogen. And so you get into a very vicious cycle and eventually you just throw that all away and you feel stuck. And so not only now do you have the issue of low testosterone, but now you have the issue of estrogen dominance or high estrogen levels in the body. And so what can kind of symptoms can that produce? 
Oddly enough, a lot of the symptoms of estrogen dominance in the male sound like low testosterone. But in addition, you will get things like um, gynecomastia, which is man boobs. You will also have an inability to recover from workouts. So after you work out, you'll be sore and not able to go work out again for a couple of days. And it will also enlarge your prostate, prostate and also can lead to things like prostate cancer. And so we want to figure out or come to a conclusion, how do we then battle this thing? Uh, and so what I want to do is give you the five ways to uh, raise your testosterone or the five ways to raise your T for free, T being the testosterone. So the first of those is going to be to increase your plant-based healthy fats. And let me explain why that is so important. A lot of the way or methods that we get fats into our body is very unhealthy. Uh, it's either synthetic fats like canola oil, because most things are cooked and fried in canola oil, canola oil, or we're eating animal products that have a lot of saturated fats. Uh, unfortunately, when we're making hormones, the key component in making a hormone is cholesterol, but it has to be healthy cholesterol. And so the best way to get that is from a plant-based source. So eating things like hemp, uh, chia seeds, uh, cacao nibs, uh, coconut, those are wonderful sources of fat that you can get into your body to synthesize these hormones. In addition, um, moving on to the second uh, way you can actually increase your testosterone is managing your stress levels. And I'm gonna explain why this is so important. As you stress in your body, you begin to basically press the gas on your adrenals. And your adrenals sound like exactly what they are. They sound like adrenaline. Uh, so it creates this fight or fight mode inside of your body, your body. And so this fight or flight mode, instead of making hormones, because the adrenals do make sex hormones, uh, both estrogen and testosterone. So instead of making testosterone, it will make cortisol. And cortisol is actually a fat storage hormone. So it will also contribute to the little bit of testosterone that you do have in your body being converted back into uh, estrogen. So you want to manage stress. And the best way to do that and the ways that I recommend is things like meditation, uh, doing exercises like yoga, uh, stress management techniques like breathing techniques, and also music. Uh, maybe listening to uh, some very soothing music or nature sounds. So managing stress, number two. Number three is going to be staying away from refined sugars and starches. Refined sugars and starches uh, will actually cause your testosterone levels to bottom out as well. So you want to make sure you're staying away from all refined sugars and starches. And by refined sugars, I mean anything that has sugar added to it is a refined sugar. So you want to get natural sugars. And uh, the best natural sugars to get is fruit. So start with that. Or you can use dates to sweeten things up. And stay away from starches. And when I say starches, I mean things like potatoes. So you want to stay away from those as well. Okay. And the fourth one is going to be HIIT training or high intensity training. High intensity training or exercise will actually not only increase your testosterone, but it actually increase human growth hormone, which will actually add muscle to your body. And so doing HIIT training or high intensity training, um, things like uh, sprinting, um, things like uh, box jumps, um, other things like, um, trying to name a couple of things, maybe P90X or CrossFit, those type of exercises or high intensity exercises uh, will be very key for you actually increasing not only testosterone, but actually increasing human growth hormone as well. And the final one is going to be intermittent fasting. And here's why intermittent fasting can play such an amazing role in rebuilding your testosterone. Uh, intermittent fasting, as you intermittent fasting, basically what that is, is you have a window of time where you do not eat. And my suggested window is going to be between 18 and 20 hours. So there's an 18 or 20 hour window where there's no eating. And then there's either either a six or four hour window when you eat. So that's your, you know, eat it out period. 
So uh, you want to have that window because during that window of intermittent fasting, you're going to switch your metabolism to actually burning and metabolizing fat. And as you burn and metabolize away the fat, that decreases your chances for in to increase that, that enzyme that I spoke about before called aromatase, which will actually convert your testosterone into estrogen. And so that's why intermittent fasting can play a very vital role in you actually not only increasing your testosterone in your body, but actually lowering the estrogen levels in your body as well to kind of uh, remedy or solution the problem. So I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, it was definitely helpful for me and something I've implemented not only with myself, but also with clients. And uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit a like and give me a comment down below. Let me know your experiences with uh, low testosterone and estrogen dominance. And if you love these videos, let me know if you want, to, want me to keep them coming.